So when you take all Android phones, they all have these developer options in it. Just that it has been hidden from you so that you won't be able to touch or change some things with your phone because these developer options is very dangerous in a way because when you are not able to change the settings well or you are not able to manipulate it well, it can just cause a lot of things or chaos in your phone. So let's look at these developer options, what you can use it for like saving your battery life, increasing your phone speed and then a lot more. So let's look at it right now in our phone settings and then I want to show you how you can unlock these hidden settings and then what you can use it for. So you want to subscribe to this channel, subscribe to this channel for more videos from this channel. Here is Ositek and then we are on all social media platforms as Ositek on TikTok and then everywhere. And very soon I'll be giving you information about TikTok because TikTok will be collapsing soon, maybe. So subscribe and turn on notifications so that every video that we upload here, you will be the first to watch it to be updated always on Ositek. Let's go into how you can use the developer option and then how you can unlock it on your phone. Let's start. So this is how you are going to do it. Just follow me and then let's go into it right now. Just go to your phone settings on your Android device. So when you go to your phone settings and then you just scroll down and then you go to system. Okay, you just go to system right here. So when you tap on your system and then you go to about phone. So with this about phone, some phones, when you go to your phone settings, you just go to the home of the phone settings and then you will see about phone but for others too you have to go to your settings then your system then you come to about phone so this about phone is either at the system or at the settings so check yours and then go to about phone and when you go to about phone then you go to this build normal right here so just tap on this build normal for like four or five times so one two three four then, then as you will be tapping you see you are now a step away so they will be alerting you that you are almost a developer right now so you just tap on it four to five times and then you ask for your password and then you just show your password or you put your password to for them to know that you are the one and then you can see you are now a developer right here so let's come here and then let's look at one thing here and I think you can see the developer options being activated right here. So when you finish with the build number, you see the developer options here or at the settings. And then you just tap on developer options. So when you tap on it, you have a lot here. But you're going to look at the most important ones. Okay, so let's start from here. So we have the stay awake. And then for the stay awake, your screen will never go off when you are charging your phone. So let's say you are downloading some stuff and then you will think when your phone screen goes off, the connection will slow down. You can put in your charger and then you turn this on. And then your screen will never go off whilst it is on charge. And then after that, let's look at the other ones to just scroll down. Just scroll down. And then you come to this side select USB configuration so for this one this is the action that we give to our phone whenever that we connect our phone to a laptop or a computer so whenever you connect your phone to your laptop using a USB cable using a USB cable what your phone should do should it charge your phone are you going to be sending files between your phone and then your computer and then other ones so it depends on what you want your phone to take action is what you want your phone to do when it is connected to a computer through a usb cord so you can select anyone right here if you don't want to always select it when you input your cable into your phone so let's look at the other ones to scroll down and then we have this one show tabs so when you turn this on you will see something on the screen right here as you can see you can see something like it is showing where i am tapping that's what that's why they call it show tabs so wherever that you touch on the screen you will see where you are touching so in case your phone um 
from your hands you can come to activate this and then you'll be checking as you touch the whole screen to check whether your phone screen has a problem or not and then you can also turn on this one if you want to also check where your phone screen has a problem okay and you can see on um, my phone screen is working very well there is no problem with the uh, screen okay so you can activate this in case you want to check whether your phone screen has a problem or not so let's turn this off because we don't want to check our screen whether it is broken or not and then let's go down again and you can see we have force ltl layout direction and then for this force ltl layout direction it's going to help us take everything on the right side here to the left side so if you are someone who always use your left hand for typing or using your phone always with your left hand now you've got an opportunity to turn this on so when you turn this on you can see everything has changed from the right side to the left side including your course and everything so let's look at our call to verify the changes and you can see everything here has changed okay so let's see with our contact to everything to has changed so if you used to type with your left hand or use your phone with your left hand you can turn this on but since i always use my right hand for everything in the phone i like it this way and you can see the contact to will change to this dimension okay so let's continue with that and then the next thing i want to show you is about increasing your phone speed so we have this here the window animation skill and then if you want your phone to be more faster just turn this off just turn the window animation off and then when you come to this side too, we have transition animation skill you tap on that one too and then you turn this to off so you have the window animation skill off the transition animation skill off and then you also and then you also turn this animator duration skill to off so just tap on that one too then you turn it off and then just scroll down again so for increasing your phone speed we have the window animation skill of transition animation skill off and then animator duration skill to off these are the three things that you have to turn it off to increase your phone speed so let's continue with it we are still in the developer options and here you can use to save your battery life you can see we have don't keep activities right here so let's say when you turn this one off whenever that you leave these settings these settings will close totally you'll not be able to get access unless you open it again you will not see it here okay you will not see it here again something like this you will not see it here it will just close after leaving the settings so make sure you try to either turn this on in case if you want to be closing your apps whenever you leave the app or if in case you don't want to close the app when you leave this is what you can do we have the second one here as the background process limit the apps that will be running at the background you can put it as standard limit or you can lower it two or three or even four processes at the background so that always there will be a little apps running at the background so you won't be having a lot of apps running at the background during your battery now and then so you can turn it at standard limit or there shouldn't be any processes running at the background or at least two or three will be okay so for keeping your battery life increase you can use this one the don't keep activities or the background process limit and then for you to also save your data we have 
this tool here because the more you keep the apps running at the background the more it uses data so this is how you can also use these developer options in your daily life but let me also show you how you can also save data on your android phone so when you go to your settings and then you come to your apps and notifications so just tap on the apps and notifications and then let's select any app from the apps and the notifications so it can be your whatsapp facebook or any other app tiktok and then we are using this app the es far explorer as our app that we are going to check on so just tap on the app that you want to save data on so you tap on the app and then you just come to data usage so when you tap on data usage then you look below right here you can see we have the background data here and then this background data here is turned on which means that this app is using data whilst you are not using the app so this app is using data whilst the app is not open and mostly these apps that we allow the background data to be on our whatsapp facebook our social media apps so that we'll be able to get notifications of some messages which are mostly important but when you take this es file for example it is a file that we use to keep uh, our pictures videos and others is it just saving or a place where we keep all these things and this es file explorer is using the data in the background whilst i've not opened the app so you can just turn this off okay just turn it off go to your apps and then turn some of this off so with your whatsapp you should just let it be on for your whatsapp it should be on so that when you turn your data the whatsapp will just use some of your data to go and then give you the information once you've not opened your whatsapp so make sure for whatsapp it is on and then for other ones like your camera your gallery some apps that are not supposed to use data when you go and check you see that the background data is on and then it has used around even some uses more data in the background and so when you see here is the background data used by this year's for explorer so it has used like 183 kilobytes which is very small but when you check other apps it has used more data and then these apps have used your data for nothing because yes far as far using your data is not good for camera to using your data in the background like it's not it, it's very bad so just go to your apps and then return some of these things off